studio heard my lyric and put his hand on his head like Khaled These other MCs need practice Cause when I heat up it's a madness 100 degrees niggas melt like plastic Lyrical war yeah that's my language I turn super saiyan bitch Just so you know I ain't Hello YouTube, I'm Mr. Delmods. Today guys, we're going to be showing you how to use uh, Hashcat um, to crack encrypted hashes. If you don't know what a hash is, it's pretty much just um, an encrypted password. Um, if you guys ever seen uh, hashes like this, on the internet, I gave a file a couple uh, a while back on how to uh, you know get these, or if you have them, how to crack them. I didn't do how to crack them, but that's what the tutorial is. But if you have something like this, this tutorial will show you how to crack. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to download a software called Hashcat. I will have the link in the description, guys. Once you have it downloaded, you will not have this file, this file, or this file in here. Basically, what you want to do is you just want to create it um, a name of it. So you just want to right click, new text document, call that one hash, and then basically you want to click out of that, make a new one, call it correct. And basically, what you want to do is you make a folder and you want to call it a word list. Um, now, what you're going to need is you're going to need a really, really, really good word list. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put my word list in the description or not because I don't want to give it away just yet. I'm not done building it. I think I have like a 43 something gig word list. Um, but there is one person that's going to be getting it. So you just need a really good word list. If you don't know how to find those, just search up Google. Um, just type in uh, word list download for hashcat and you'll be fine. And once you download them, guys, just basically you just want to drag them in here. Once you got them in here, um, the last thing you want to do before you start getting uh, cracking. If you have a 32-bit or 64-bit uh, operating system on your on your PC, you basically just this one's gonna say uh, hashcat dash co 64, I believe, and you just want to change it to hashcat. Just rename hashcat. Once you have that done, that's basically um, all you need to do. You guys can do this on your desktop, like make the folder on your desktop. Um, this you want to bring it into your C drive, your local C drive. So once it's here. Basically, you just want to hold your flag key and press R and type in CMD. And guys, once you have this open, basically what you're going to do is you want to type in uh, CD forward slash. Once you guys have that, you want to type in CD hash cats. And basically, what you're doing is you're telling your computer to go into your uh, C drive, which is this, and you're going to tell it to read the file named hashcat. And uh, once you're in here, what you guys want to do is uh, now it's going to tell now we're inside this folder and it's going to tell us to read off the things that we're going to put in here so we wanted to tell it to read I run the program hash cat which is this program right here guys it's going to run that app hash cat and you want to put the type of hash that you have uh, well, before we get started you want to put your encrypted hashes in the oh shit Wrong one. Um, and uh, that's my cracking. That's what I have running in the background. I have um, hashes being cracked in the background. Um, but uh, basically, what you're gonna do is you want to put your uh, hash type that you put in here in your hashes because you want to put all of your uh, crypted hashes in here. So that's what you gotta do. Um, but once you have it in there, you basically just want to find your hash type. I'll have this file in the description for you as well if you don't have it already. Um, and you just basically want to, uh, you know, get a hash. So if you have an MD5 hash, basically you're going to use a mode 0. We're just going to use that for the first tutorial. I already have an MD5 mode running in the background. So I'm just going to do it, and then I'm going to cancel it. Um, um, no, actually, I'm going to leave it running because, you know, it doesn't hurt. So basically, like I said, we're going to run the, the mode. So it's going to be a negative M0. Because remember, guys, the mode and attack method, we're going to use zero. Our, the type of hash is zero, which is MD5. We want to put backslash A. Um, and then our A is our attack mode. Um, you have multiple different uh, methods of attacking a straight, you know. These are your attack modes. We're just going to use straight because it's the most common and it's the most effective. So we're going to put zero, and you'll put negative O. And then basically, what you do is you want to drag your files into the CMD space and then you want to drag the hash um, and basically we're telling it to read and distribute the 
encrypted and, and decrypted hashes into these files. And after that, you want to basically put a word list in here, um, and then hit enter, guys. But note, before you do this, um, you guys will need a really, really good word list to even remotely start cracking hashes. So with that being said, basically all you have to do now is just hit enter. And what it'll do is it will read any hashes that you have in there. Um, of course, it's find mine. It's found my hashes. Now it's going to load. There it goes, and it starts. Um, I'm just going to let that run. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you crack hashes, guys. You know, cracking encrypted hashes. Um, for those of you that, like I said in the beginning of the video, that downloaded my file that uh, had, like, a whole bunch of uh, encrypted hashes, in my docs folder that I have in my modding pack. Um, basically this will help you decrypt them if you come across any hashes. Um, if you guys need any help on what type of hash it is and don't know the mode, contact me on my Skype and I'll be glad to help you. And if there's anything else that you guys need help with, I'll be glad to, to help you on my uh, Skype as well. Um, note guys, I want to say this again for all of you that keep adding me asking about the... Uh, uh, fuck. IDPS, how to model an OFW. Guys, if you don't have your IDPS, I'm not going to help you, period. If you contact me asking can you help and you don't have your IDPS, I'm not going to help you at all. Um, and for those of you that say I'm, I'm apparently quote quote stealing console IDs, um, you're stupid, okay? Because I don't accept it until they pay, first of all. And, uh, and for those that say you can do it without your IDPS, you're fucking retarded. You're stupid as hell. Oh my god, you're so fucking stupid, just kill yourself. Um, you know, there's this one fucking kid on my Skype that's stupid, I'm never gonna go into him. But, uh, yeah. Uh, he just sounded really stupid. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, along with this video. Again, put it in the comments below if you want to see anything in the new future, such as this. Um, this is Del Mods, and, uh, peace out, guys.